All right, so if you guys have been following the channel for any length of time, you guys will know that I don't do flashlight reviews there. And the reason being for that is just because it's just, it's redundant. It's, there's nothing new and innovative, so I just haven't done any. I have a ton of Olights, and chances are, if you guys are here for this video, you guys are a flashlight nut like me. I have a slew of Olight flashlights, tons of them. Uh, Streamlight, the tr uh, through night, I have a ton of lights, ton of different lights. But they're all pretty much the same you know it's all a big flood there's, or you know you have to buy a specialty spot there's nothing innovative and new about them barring you know a couple of little differences here and there there's really nothing exciting to talk about until i got this ace beam flashlight this thing is pretty cool solves a lot of problems because you know either you're going to have a floodlight or you're going to have a spotlight this thing has them combined both together so it's really really cool what do you guys see the beam shots outside this light is fantastic and it solves the problem of carrying a big search and rescue light or your big flood light it just has everything combined in it really cool really innovative that's why i'm doing this review so we're going to hop down on the bench we're going to unbox this thing we're going to talk about it we're going to go outside do some beam shots and then we'll come back for some final thoughts Okay, so first things first, let's do the unboxing of this. Obviously, I've already unboxed it and I have been using it, but I just like to show you guys how it comes packaged. Uh, nice cardboard box, nothing fancy to talk about. But when you do open it, it did come double wrapped. The box was inside this and then wrapped in bubble wrap. So it was packaged really nicely. It was very secure, nice packaging. And obviously, here's the box that it comes in. So we'll get the, the cardboard box and all the dunnage that goes inside of it out of the way. But very nice packaging. So you don't have to worry about the thing getting to you in one piece. It was double wrapped inside of a cardboard box, which was nice. So here's the package. Obviously the light is not in it. I've been using it, but Ace Beam, five year warranty. This has flood spot and the auxiliary RGB. This is a Terminator M2X. Great, great light. And we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about it. Um, here's a QR code on the back. If you guys wanna pause the video, scan that, whatever, go to their website and see some other things I may or may not cover in this video. So we're gonna open the box up. And again, the light I have been using, but I didn't open up any of the rest of the stuff in here. Got some tape on there. The light was in here. Obviously I've been using the light, like I said, inside here, I have not opened yet. So with that being said, let's pop this out and see what we get in here. So we got some literature in the bottom. We got our user manual, which I did not go through. I just figured the light out on my own because it's not, terribly uh, complicated. This is written in Chinese on one side and here's our American on the other with our lumen levels and all the good stuff. So I'll definitely take a look at that. So we'll get that out of the way. Get this box out of the way. Let's see what comes in this auxiliary box here. So we're going to open this up as best we can. We're not destroying the box but I tend to destroy things when I open stuff up because I'm excited like a kid at Christmas. All right, so first thing, we got some O-rings. We have a nice lanyard here that says Ace Beam on it. Pretty nice lanyard with the little pull tab and button here. So you can cinch that up on your wrist so you don't drop it. Very nice lanyard. O-rings, like I said, and your USB-C to USB-A. And that's it. And then, of course, everyone's favorite snack is in there, the silicate packets. So that's what comes in the box. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in the star of the show here. This is the Ace Beam Terminator M2X. Now, again, what turned me on to this light, guys, is there's a, a niche that's been missing. Everybody does either a flood or a spot. There's, I haven't seen any out there that are a combination. Uh, my daily carry for work is the Olight Arkfeld. And this is just a basic, this is just a basic flood. There's no spot on this at all. It's just a big flood light. There's really no hot spot to speak of. It's just a big pool of light. And, you know, it serves a purpose. It does its job. It uh, fits nice next to my knife in my, in my pocket. So that's been my daily. But, you know, there's times when you really need a spotlight. And just either you're going to carry a dedicated spotlight or a dedicated floodlight because I haven't seen anything that combines the two the way this Ace Beam Terminator M2X does. Fantastic light. First thing, let's get out of the way is the price point of this. This comes in at $139.95. I will leave a link down below in the description box to Ace Beam's website. You guys can check them out. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get paid any commission on this. This is just my thoughts and reviews of this light. All right, with that out of the way, this thing is made out of an aluminum construction. As you can see all over it, it has all kinds of relief cuts in it for heat dissipation. Uh, you got your Ace Beam badging right there. You have a little caution symbol up here because this thing will get hot. 
And over here you have four sets of LEDs. You have your spot, your flood, your RGB, and your battery indicator light. And over here, it shows you how to put the battery in, positive down first, so you can't mess that up. There's your lanyard hole right there to attach the included lanyard. And now if we spin around to the back side here, you have your button. This is your on-off for your user interface, which we'll get into that in a second. And then you also have a button here. This is for your spot mode. And there's a QR code on here to go to the website and get instructions, whatever you may need. Pretty nice there. You have a nice pocket clip. It's very robust, this pocket clip. It's not a deep carry but it carries very well in the pocket. Uh, three Allen screws on it, so it's very secure. You could also carry this on the front of a backpack. I carry this in my EDC bag off body, but I have carried it on body. Uh, ni nice and light, even though it's chunky and built like a tank, it doesn't, weigh that, it doesn't weigh like a tank, it carries very well. So overall, very good. Now let's get to the front of this light and the star of the show. As you can see in here, that is a deep, deep reflector, and at the bottom is an LED. This is a spotlight. This is, this is what makes this light different than all the rest. You have a spot, and then you have your flood. There's three LEDs here for the flood, then there's three smaller little RGB lights, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on that. I, we'll talk about that then. But anyway, here's your flood with the three LEDs, and here's your spot with the LED down the bottom of that big reflector. So very innovative light with the way they did this, having a spot and a flood, because most lights that you carry... They're just nothing more than, you know, uh, it's a big it's a big floodlight. And most of the, most lights out there on the market, they have an internal battery. The battery goes dead. Uh, you can pretty much toss the light away. This has a removable battery. So let's take the battery out. I'll show you guys that. Ace Beam includes this battery. This is an 18650, a 3100 milliamp hour battery, which they include the USB charger for it, USB-C, which is nice. So you can use any USB-C charger you have or the one they include and plug it in there and charge the battery. Now I have other 18650 batteries to go along with all the flashlights I have. I charge in a dedicated charger. I have a four bay charger, but if you don't have that, it's nice that they included this battery that has the uh, USB-C built into it. So very nice job from Ace Beam there. So this goes tip down, you can't mess it up, positive down. You have the O-ring on here for its IPX rating and its waterproofness. And then we're gonna turn this light on and go over the user interface. It does have a lockout feature. Let's go over that first. So you're going to hold this down, the tail switch. You'll see that light come on once. It'll blink, and then you'll see this blink. So now when you push that, you see that flashes. It won't come on. So to get out of that, you're going to hold it down again till that front blinks, and now it, it's back on. I don't use it that way. I go right here to the tail cap, see where this little arrow is. I give it a quarter turn, and then if you hit the tail cap, you'll see nothing's happening. So when this is in my bag or on my person, I just give it a quarter turn and it's locked out. It's much easier than to go through that other way. And just give it a quarter turn back and you can turn it on. All right, so let's go over the, let's go over the specs of this and the lumens quick while we'll run through the user interface. All right, so first things first, you're gonna hold this down and that's gonna be one lumen. As you can see there on my finger, that's one lumen. So you're gonna hold it again, that's 50 lumens. You're gonna hold it again. The medium one is 200 lumens. Not bad, you're starting to get a good little output there. Hold it down again. Medium two is 500 lumens. Starting to feel it warm up a little bit right there. And you're gonna hold it again. That's high, that's 1200 lumens. And then you're gonna double click it. And that's the full 32 and I can feel the heat of that right now in my hand. Okay, so we're gonna drop this back down. We'll drop it back down to a lower setting. Let's round robin to a lower setting. Okay, so now when you got it like this, if you're running the light and you're cycling through using your thumb, getting to wherever you need to be for your brightness, you can take your finger here and kick it into the spot mode. Now we're in spotlight mode. This is this is where this light is really cool. This thing throws super far. It doesn't look impressive here, but wait till we get outside and do the beam shots on this. And then to make it even nicer, you double click this and you have spot and flood. Now in spot and flood, you're gonna get 2,700 lumens. And if you're in spot alone, that's 900 lumens concentrated into that hot spot. But again, once we get outside, you'll really, you'll really see how this thing shines outside with that, in that spot mode, it's just incredible. So right now we're in spot mode, that LED is lit for that. You click it again, it drops down the flood. And now if we wanna get, get into our RGB mode, you just hold that down, kicks into RGB mode, and you guys can watch it cycle through the colors. Whatever color you want, you just hold that button down again and it'll stop on it. I'm not gonna talk too much and waste too much time on this because it, that's basically what it is. This is kind of a novelty. I was in a pitch dark room with it and you can barely make out your hand in the room. I don't know why this is in there. 
There's even some SOS modes in here for this. It's just it's it's just no good. And to simply get out of this, you're just going to hit that again, and you'll kick back into spot or flood. And you also have a uh, strobe on this. So if you triple click the tail cap, you'll go into strobe mode, which I don't like using that because that trips my eyes out. But it does have the strobe mode. So overall, the user interface on it is pretty straightforward. It's like any other light. You know, you're going to turn it on, hold the tail switch. It's going to step through the different brightness levels. But again, where I really like this light is it gives you the versatility of clicking that side switch here and kicking that into a full spot mode. And again, once we get this outside and you guys see how that spotlight performs, you're going to be blown away. Uh, just a really awesome light from Ace Beam. So we're going to take this thing outside. We're going to do some beam shots. Uh, again, I don't do flashlight video, so you know, bear with me. This is my first one where I'm actually going to do beam shots outside. So hopefully you guys can get the gist of this light and... Uh, once we're done with that, we'll come back down for some final thoughts. All right, so we're outside on my front porch, and across my front yard, there's a tree, which you'll see that's going to be about 50 yards. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing on to moonlight mode, and you'll see here the LED comes on. We are in moonlight mode. You're not really going to see anything out there on moonlight. So we're going to hold it down, and we're going to go into low, which that's 50 lumens right there. We're going to click it again. We're going to go into medium one, which is 200 lumens. You can start to see things. That tree across the way is 50 yards, a little over 50 yards. Now we're going to medium two, which is 500 lumens. You'll start to see the front yard a little better now. Now we're going to kick it up to high, which is 1,200 lumens. And then we're going to double click it for turbo, which is the full 3,200 lumens which you can see how bright that is. Now here's where the magic happens with this light. We're gonna hit the spot button on the side and there's that tree that's a little over 50 yards. I mean, this beam will throw. It's just, it looks like Batman's light. This thing is just awesome. And now if you double click it, you get spot and the beam, which is a nice combination. Or kick it back down to the spot. Hit the side button again, you go back to flood. We're in high mode right here. Double click it for turbo, the full 3200. Hit the side button, go back to spot. Double click, you get spot and flood. All right, so that was a look at the Ace Beam Terminator M2X light. Pretty impressed with it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That's gonna wrap it up for this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.